Let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to have to decide is how big of a throat you need on your jeweler's saw. This will be determined by how big of a piece you are working on. So for this new project, I needed to get one with a deeper throat. So I picked one up and put it to use. Blades come in a variety of thicknesses. They're going to orientate this way here into your saw. So that's hopefully that makes sense to you. You tighten the bottom screw and then you adjust the height of your saw with this screw over here and tighten up the top screw. Now you've got a loose blade, which is no good, so you're going to kind of reef on this and stretch it open as well as wide as I can, and then tighten it up. Then you're ready to go. Now, you're only ready to go if you're working on a piece from the outside edge. Because we're working on this inside edge, we're going to do the same process, but with the blade through the hole. Make sure you put lots of beeswax on it here and reapply that beeswax every so often. And now you're just going to begin to saw your way through your piece. Don't use a lot of pressure. You don't want to be replacing broken blades all the time. As I said before, keep applying beeswax. If you get to a corner, slowly saw up and down in that corner without any forward momentum and turn your blade. So you're going to just slowly saw your way into the next direction. I'm going to leave this piece I cut out in real time all the way till the end so that you guys if you want to watch it you can you can see how long it takes to cut out this single piece and if you don't want to see how long it takes to cut out this single piece well just skip to the end
there you have it everybody hopefully you enjoyed this video make sure you like it if you did subscribe for future videos and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content and until next time keep on being creative in whatever it is you do